Xbox games. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Eldritch, where I, Kilkakon, will be playing completely blindly. So let us press enter and play. Oh yeah. And as we can see, we live in a blocky world, and we can use this mirror to change our appearance. I'll be going using an appearance that is most similar to my own body. That'll do. I don't wear suspenders, but we can pretend we're Doctor Who today. Okay, we have a chair. Cool, we can stand on. And a book. Alright. Quite interesting dates. There's probably a bit of... See, I have, I have no idea about this game. I've literally played it for about five minutes just to make sure it was working. And that's, that's all that I've got. The Explorer's Journal, page 2. This library seems to go on forever. I am no longer certain that there is a way out. It feels as if I'm somehow reliving the same experiences, day after day, endlessly. If I'm to find an exit from this madness, I believe it will be through these obscene glowing books. There is an unmanageable power in these pages, an unspeakable horror. It seems that the spirits of ancient deities lie dormant within the books, though I know not for what reason. But, in their concealed power must be the key to my incarceration in this labyrinth. Ah, I see there's a portal here, or a door. Now we need, we need pedestals. The pedestal has a strange, oh, sorry, a shallow indentation engraved with a strange pattern. It looks like a spherical object could be placed here. And I can punch it! Oh yes! Now we've got punching down pat. There are many books, and it seems there's objects over here. And annoyingly, I can't set my usual crouch key, so I'm going to have to go over here. Artifacts. These extraterrestrial stone carvings are your main resource in this world. You can purchase goods of them, or spend them to activate special powers and tools. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it's a crouch toggle. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, there's one up here. And there's one up here too. So we have four artifacts. Okay, what do we have over here? Jumping, press right click to jump, we know this. Sprinting! Uh, press and hold shift to sprint, and we can crouch while doing it to power slide. And yep, just blah blah blah. Controls, controls, controls. Which I have already set up. Over here we have a tree with fruit. Aha, it contains health. Alright, this is just like Die Katana. We must look at trees to preserve our health. The History of the Library, Volume 4 of 4. Let's, let's get Volume 1 first, if we even care. Alright, well, there's lots of things, but rather than explore the library, I think we'd better get into the main world. Okay. So what do we have here? Strange book. This book is bound by an unseen force. An inscription on its cover reads, This place is not a place of honour. A terrible power is contained within this volume. It has been sealed by the soul of Dagon, and only by the soul of Dagon may it be opened. Well, there you go. We can't do that without Dagon's powers. And here, same thing, but for Nalathotep. Now, I am unexperienced in the ways of Cthulhu, so those who are more experienced may know how to do it. This is a projectile weapon. All right. In this book is written in a language you do not recognize. As you peer at the strange glyphs, they seem to lift off the pages and take on the bizarre and unearthly forms of the creatures and worlds they describe. The worlds encircle you, blotting out the library and filling your mind with the unbearable buzzing of a pre-human language. Shaken, you try to close the book, but you find yourself teleported to the alien world described in its pages. This is a very portrait of Ruin. Aha, and the strange book is what you used to return to the library. Compass. Gear is wearable equipment. We have boots, books, uh, boots, kits, and gadgets. We can only carry one piece of gear of each category. This is a simple magnetic compass, which reveals. And this is Explorer's Journal. Something quite peculiar has happened to me here. I feel the need to record this in the event that I should not return. The last thing I recall was examining that curious book in the library. And now I found myself in a dangerous world full of lurking monsters and treacherous traps. If my research is correct, then I am in the lost temple to the ancient god Dagon. A powerful relic is rumored to be kept in the depths of this world. Perhaps it holds the key to my escape. Perhaps it does, but we have hop! That's right, our bottle of hop. 
which we shall use to navigate throughout this blocky environment. Alright. That doesn't look like it takes anywhere. Whoa! Whatever it was, I just killed it. A corpse, which contains three artifacts. It's a very compressed corpse. Let's avoid the spikes. There's another hop over there. There's some meat, which we could use for health. And a rock, which is a melee weapon, I'm guessing. Or it could be a ranged weapon. I hear enemies nearby. It's quite an atmospheric game for its simple graphics. It doesn't even have the smoothing that similar games have, but... Let's climb this. Aha! More rocks! Okay, they're ranged weapons. And there's more meat, but we don't need more health. We are maxed on health. Okay. Now, the world is procedurally generated, so every every area is unique to each game, each playthrough. Just checking if there's any more of those little spider head crappy things. Ah, uh, an artifact. We will grab the artifacts. A key. Keys are used to unlock doors. Each key can only be used once. It's obviously made of like a gelatinous substance. Ah, uh, hang on. It's a dagger. Oh, have a proper weapon now. Excellent. Because I only had two attacks otherwise, you know, the rock and the bottle. Although the rock is technically better than the bottle. Let's get the rock back. Because we can reuse rocks. Oh yeah. The bottle's pretty much once it hits something, it smashes. So we've got plenty of health in this direction. What's over here? Hmm. I definitely hear something. goes far deeper. There's one of those spidery things up there. Got it! Alright, let's recover the rock. It's a good rock. Oh. It's a revolver. Score. We only have four bullets though, which is a bit of a problem. Four bullets will not go very far. But hey, revolver is my style. Where does this lead? Ah, more daggers. We don't really need them though. How do we get down? There we are. Well, I picked them up, but they don't do anything because I've already got a dagger, so... There you go. Let's close the door. Oh dear, I don't want to cross that nonsense. That will hurt. But I could theoretically jump it. Yeah, it's possible. Just don't want to get it wrong. Could it be the end of me? This is a roguelike game, so it should uh, die or lose all my inventory items and be sent back to the beginning. Let's not let that happen. There is a locked door here. But we do have a key. It contains additional bullets and artifacts. Oh yeah, we have 10 bullets now. Now, I'm not sure if there's reloading or not, but we'll find out, I suppose. Let's toggle that crouch. Alright. Crouch off. Whoa, mouse spasm. Pile of artifacts and more revolvers and daggers. That's good. Oh, what's that over there? It's a fountain from the looks of things. Whoop, spider. I almost got you. Gotcha. Saving bullets. No, those were, they were carrying bullets as well. Excellent. Fountains. Quaffing from a fountain will restore some of your health and will extend your maximum health. Fountains dry up after being used once. Well, I've increased my maximum health to four, which is a good thing. I don't know if there's full damage, but I'm not going to risk it. 
Pets are quite on edge this game. Gotta admit. Ah, oh, it's another one of those keys. And an artifact. Let's get out of here. It's just a cobweb, Kilkakon. It's just a cobweb. Do not panic. Alright, here we have... Oh, hello. Oh, it's a shopkeeper. The fishman smiles weeply at you. Welcome, stranger. Please buy something. <coughs> I have so many good things in my shop. Hi, shopkeeper. So, what do we have? We have keys. Lucky charms. Jump boots. Stealth boots. Dagger bottle revolvers. Okay, what do we got? So, what's a stealth boots? Shopping. Each shop has a selection of valuable gear available for purchase. If you cannot afford the price, you can try to steal an item, but you will make the shopkeeper angry. 40. They silence my footsteps, but unfortunately I cannot afford them. Jump boots. 20. Could, we could purchase that. The destruction amulet. Increases the damage you do of weapons, and makes bullets destroy terrain. Could be quite useful, the destruction amulet. How about the lucky charm? With this equipped, you will find more loot on enemy corpses. Not bad ideas. I'm going to get these jump boots. A rugged pair of rugged boots of springs mounted in its soles. Wearing these boots lets you jump higher than usual. Oh, look at that. Oh, jumping prowess. Is there an inventory button? Escape, maybe? Ah, oh, yes, here we are. So, a one world dag on one. And we have the booties. It's very professional. Okay. So, we, I can see another... Oh, you're back! Okay, we have respawning enemies. Good to know. <laughs> so I've got to keep my got to keep my ears open. Unfortunately, I can't set alt as my normal key, so I'm not quite used to it. Okay, there's a spidery guy down there. Oh, oh, there's a spidery guy up here. Got him. I'm swam. I'm saying spider. There's only four legs. Little crawling guy. You. Gotcha. There's a key on that one. Whoa. All right, what do we got up here? The jumping boots becoming useful already. An extra bullet for my revolver, but so far I'm just conserving the ammunition because it is low. Well, that's a snake. Is it? Looks like a snake. It's a corpse. It's already dead. All right. Well, dead snakes aside. Don't know how I did that one. There is a hatch here. An exit. Well, I'll explore the immediate vicinity first. Another corpse. Containing additional artifacts. What's down here? Dynamite, revolver, and dagger. Well, as far as I've been able to determine, I only should have two weapon slots. And any of the, either the dynamite or the rock will replace my existing weapons, which, to be honest, I don't want to do. They're quite solid weapons. You know, the dagger so far been one hit killing everything I've encountered. Alright, let's see what's up here. More artifacts. Brilliant. Oh, it's another one of these creatures. Are they killed by spikes? No, they aren't. Okay, we have two additional artifacts. Another artifact over here. I can hear more of them moving. Got him. There's an extra bullet from that crawler. Don't know what they're called, but... Stabbing him anyway. There's a key. Some meat. Which looks rotten. Apparently rotten meat deals damage. So we're not going to take the rotten meat because that would be stupid. And I try not to do stupid things deliberately. Okay, what's over here? 
More meat, a rock. An artifact. Excellent. Oh, there's a creature up there. It looks crazy. It isn't hostile. No, it is. It's down. We recovered one bullet from that exchange. It looks like this is going to be like Resident Evil. Alright. What I'm going to do now is continue to explore until I have enough artifacts to purchase one of those charms. The destructive charm or possibly the lucky charm. Ah. Another key. Keys are good. That tree made me jump. Stupid trees. Oh dear. I'm slightly on edge. And of just a just cause. Although I am armed, it's still dangerous. Not yet taken damage though, which is reassuring. Alright. It'll happen sooner or later though. If I'm not careful. Sounds like gunfire. Looks like gunfire, rather. Or actually, will awaken enemies. Now, the shop was nearby that exit. So we'll return to the shop. That creature is actually dead. Yet to find one that's alive. Oh, to, to guy in a robe. He was carrying three artifacts. Alright. You. Gotcha. And the next place. Empty. And the next place. Oh, he's still the corpse. Just, it was a fresh corpse though, because it had bullets on it. Still, the fact I've been using bullets means I'm no longer in a good situation with them. Alright. Charm. Destruction amulet or lucky charm? I think I'm going to gonna go with the destruction amulet. A small stone emblazoned of a red star. Carrying this amulet makes your attacks more damaging and causes your bullets to destroy the terrain. Ugh. Sounds good. Oh, but the compass is gone. So I have the choice between a compass or a destruction amulet. Well, that thing's dead. Well, there wasn't any full damage there. Now I need to test this destruction amulet that I've just purchased. It works! That block was instantly destroyed. Excellent. And an exit has just been discovered. Ah, it leads to a second level. Ah. There are multiple enemies around. Their distant cries evident. There's a creature over there in the air. A caco demon. From the sounds of things. Still got the high jump booties, but they're not gonna be any good here because we're at the heads, the walls, the roof's just there. Okay. There's some more meat we don't need. Artifacts. We will happily eat those. Gotta keep our wits about us.
revolver. 20 bullets. It's a reasonably satisfying amount, but I will try to conserve ammunition. Most of these trees have actually not sufficiently got any fruit. Alright. Next. I'm quite on edge. I'm not really cracking any jokes or anything. Alright. Oh, there's a, there's a creature. A thing. Hey, thing. Would you like a backstab? Oh, you, you saw me. Destruction amulet, baby! Oh, yeah. Recovering additional artifacts is good. There's something over there. But I will have to approach cautiously, make sure I'm not walking into a trap here. Of which there are no doubt some. It's a locked iron door. But our key is sufficient for that. Are there any enemies in here? Before I interact with the artifact itself. No, just another locked door, which I'm not going to use. It's a resonant statue, which I apparently can pray to. Well, I'm going to fake it. These enormous stone idols depict some sort of terrible creature never before seen on Earth. Praying at the statue imbues you with a special power from the old ones. Knock. Press control to cast knock. Aim at any locked door to unlock it. Or aim at any other distant surface to create a noise to distract patrolling enemies. It costs four artifacts to cast knock. Okay. So it essentially got an unlocking spell. For the cost of four, uh, of four artifacts, we could unlock this door. But I'm just going to jump around, because, well, I have jump boots. Oh, hi! It's a creature. So it's got an eye. Hi, eye! Oh no, it's firing! Well, one bullet got it. It was carrying a single artifact. And we now have 25 artifacts. This destructive amulet is very deadly. I wonder if I can sneak up on this thing. Stealth boots might be better though, because that way you know I can be stealthy at full power. But got it. Using a bit of a bit of guile means I can attack enemies of impunity. Oh yeah. So there is some terrible artifact at the bottom of this ruin. If I can get there, I'm able to get what I need. But the problem is I don't know where I'm meant to be going. Okay, I was able to clear those spikes. There seems to be like a snake or a willy thing up there. And I hear something through the walls. Well, I got it. rot of meat here, but I'm not going to have any of that nonsense. Alright. Oh, there's another eye socket. Or eye out of its socket, rather. A dead cultist. This gives me somewhat cause for concern. I believe they are capable of firing fireballs. A door. This appears to be some kind of kitchen. With a dead crawler. And chess, chess tables. Interesting. Alright. That thing's dead. So is that, and that. Carnage unleashed by Kilkakon. Yes. Alright. Now, yeah, turning around every corner. I see a light caused by this torch. It's a room with four doors. 
There's some dynamite. It's a rotten meat, but this artifact I'll take. And a potentially different different spell that I could cast. There seems to be another snakey over there. What's this spell? Cloak. It costs ten ten um artifacts to cast cloak. And I'm cloaked for a short period of time. But the downside of this is that I will be revealed if I make any noises. It can't see me. Whoa! It's very, um, very mind worms, isn't it? They got it! Just had to approach it carefully. I bet I normally like cloaks. Cloaks are always good, but just have to be careful. It's a dagger. That's all that's in this room. I did see a crawl that was awakened by my presence momentarily ago. There was a ladder. Of course there was a ladder. Shall attempt to th thread the eye of the needle. And kill this thing in the way. It didn't hurt me, which I am most pleased about. Oh no, it saw me. Oh, they've, all, they've all woken up. They obviously can talk to each other. And they're unleashing fireballs. Better get serious. I'm not sure if the revolver normally kills instantly in a headshot or not, but obviously this is working quite well. A variety of artifacts gathered from those cultists and generic fishmen. Another artifact here. It's an area through there. I'm gonna close that door so I'm not surprised. And this read led to a room of hop. That's right, hop bottles. Drink them, hop bottles. Filled with essential nutrients. Hop bottles. Pile of artifacts. You know what, I think the compass might have been a better choice. I've probably gone in circles. But that... looks like something. Oh, hang on. A foe. But the foe has been eliminated. And another revolver which contains three bullets. Every revolver thus far seems to contain three bullets. That was the way I came before, but this man has been stabbed to the face. A sufficient stabbing was inflicted. It tends to be a room of a chest. A bank chest. You can deposit your artifacts in bank chest for safekeeping. Artifacts you deposit here can be withdrawn later at this or any other chest. When you die, your possessions will be lost, but the artifacts stored in the bank will remain. Well. Might as well completely stash everything in the bank because I haven't found a shop. Unlocking that door and whoa, whoa, we just hit the mother load. A lot of artifacts. Oh yeah. Piles of artifacts contain five artifacts. As can actually be seen if I looked at them properly. Only never set now though. It took me half an hour. <laughs> well, this has been. Oh, Whoop, ah. hello. Ooh. Stabbed to either face. Just blocking the door. Dis despair. Oh, it's fine now. I can now close the door, ensuring my safety. And I did use a key to get all those artifacts, but I think it was worth it. 
of 112 artifacts in the bank of dreams. This man over here deserves a backstab. Got him! Oh yeah. Destructive charm doing its magic. Once again, I'm not sure if I would have preferred the original artifact, the the compass. That at least led to where I needed to go. I might go back and recover it if I can. At my shop. Or I could die. But so far that's been pretty quite difficult. Still, this is only the early game. Oh, hang on, there's a shop. This might contain valuable artifacts, a lucky charm, dynamite, stealth boots. Potentially useful. He just says hi. Hello. Stealth boots could be quite handy. How much are they? Forty. Not actually that interested. The jump boots are quite good for now. Okay, I believe I need to go in this general direction. Keep my revolver at the ready. Like, that's the way I went. Therefore, the way I want to go is this way. Ah, yes, the snaky corridor. Whoa! I'm on edge. I'm on edge. I am home alone at night playing this game with headphones. Oh yeah. And I don't play horror games at all. Who knows what I just got myself into. Okay, you, you are going to die, you freaky thing. Thank you. You too. I haven't managed to get much more than 19 bullets though, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. There's 21. Now, gloopy guy. Hi! Two bullets. The destructive amulet is nice, but in hindsight, I prefer the compass. I want to know where I'm going. Oh, hang on! There's a map at the top right! I was never even paying attention to that. Go, Kelk! Okay. So there's a green thing that way. looks like a face. Hmm. That's the entrance. So what's the face? That's the way I came. So that's obviously the altar to a god of some kind. Alright. I learned the long way around, but the entrance is here. Let us surface and reclaim my compass of glory and dreams. We have arrived with the spell of cloak. I doubt there are lots of things that wish to kill me here. Just one. Who is immediately stabbed and gives us a key. I rejoice with this key. And I will recover my compass. Which then puts on my screen where I want to be going. Yay! Well, the acquisition of the compass is probably a good, as good a time as any to call it a video. We need to go there, that way, Kilkakon, that way! That way lies victory, and reeds everywhere, and vines. When we come back, we're going to continue to play Eldritch!